Hey guys, when we started this project, we were not sure how hard it would be to edit, record everything, and then eventually distribute. But then luckily, someone told us about Anchor. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. Secondly, they have creation tools that will allow you to record and edit directly from your phone or your computer. They distribute your podcast for you. And the best thing is you can even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. are WWE superstars. He is a WWE superstar who attended Millbrook Elementary School. Please welcome Big Show. Big Show, welcome to our show. Well, you know, it's fun. Yeah, no, we have a great crowd. Yeah. I'm sure somebody's told you this before. You're, you're kind of a big guy. No. Now, what size shoe? An 18-6-E. 18-6-E. Yeah, so I basically can walk in the snow without snowshoes. <laughs> My fishing boat is an 186E. Yes, as a matter of fact, I think that's my old tennis shoe. <laughs> well, WWE superstars are playing for charity all week long. Tell everybody about the charity you're playing for. Well, today. Um, of course, uh, I'm playing for the USO. Um, awesome, man. Uh, yeah, give it up. Yeah. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the United States of America. I love our country, and I'm very proud of our veterans. And uh, I've gone every year to uh, every Christmas to Afghanistan and, and Iraq to visit our troops and do shows for them. And I just thought that uh, anything I can give back to our country, I, I'm going to do it. Absolutely. So. Thank you, man. That's great. They do Thank great you. stuff. Yes, they do. Great They're stuff. Awesome. These are your new classmates. Let me introduce them to you. Okay. You have Kamani. Kamani. Taylor. Hi, Taylor. And Kevin. Yeah. All right, big show. Pick one of them. Let's get started. Taylor, to start with. Come on over, Taylor. Taylor. Don't you wish you had that much energy? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. How are you? You want to see a fun thing? Hold your hand up next to yeah. you. There you go. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. But, but you know you what? I think you guys are going to make a good team. Yeah. I think so. All right, man. Let's and do I, this. here's what else I think. I think we're going to make some money for the USO today. There you go. That? Let me tell you how this is going to work. You're going to take a little test with us. It's 10 questions. They range from first grade through the fifth grade. First grade questions worth $500. Fifth grade questions are worth $5,000. We get finished with this. I've got a bonus question that can multiply your winnings times 10. You could leave today winning $250,000 for the U.S. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. All right. Let's find out. Is Big Show smarter than a fifth grader? No pressure, right? No pressure. All right, Taylor. Ten subjects up there. If you had to help him with one, what would you recommend? I would recommend fifth grade U.S. history. Fifth grade U.S. history, but it's up to you, Show. We'll go with fifth grade U.S. Fifth history. Fifth grade U.S. history. All right, to the top of the board. Still 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 high five. There, there we go. go. All right. Fifth grade U.S. history, it's worth $5,000. Here's the question. Who was the second vice president of the United States? Who was the second vice president of the United States? Taylor has locked in her answer. I think I'm going to use one of my cheats just to get started sure. and get going. Well, they're fifth grade questions. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. That makes me feel better. <laughs> Appreciate it. Hey, it's fifth grade questions scare me. I, I wear spandex for a living, OK? <laughs> um, let's do the peak. You want a peek? You want to lock that in, do the peek? OK, yeah, I'll do the peek. Ready? They said to slam this thing really hard, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to peek. The question is, who was the second vice president of the United States? This fifth grader said, she said, Thomas Jefferson. Mm. How's that feel? I'm going to go with her. You want to lock try. that in? Yes, I will. Whew. OK, no pressure here. Big Show, the second vice president of the United States, was actually Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. Yeah. Where would you like to go next, 
show. Fifth grade measurements. Fifth grade measurements, is that okay? Yeah. All right, fifth grade measurements. You can double that 5,000 with a correct answer. Here's the question. How many micrometers are in one centimeter? How many micrometers are in one centimeter? Taylor has locked in her answer. One centimeter, I'm gonna say that there are 10 micrometers in one centimeter. Lock that in? I'm not real confident in anything. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna lock it in. Locking it in. All right. How many micrometers in one centimeter? Your logic was right. It's okay. just a little short. Ooh. There are actually 10,000 micrometers. Here it is. One meter is one million micrometers. 100 yeah. centimeters is one meter. One million divided by 100 is 10,000 micrometers. Ooh. All right, so if Taylor said 10,000, you've got $10,000. If she said anything else, we are back to zero. Oh. Take a look at the board. Taylor said seven. <sighs> look at this face. You can't even get mad at her. Absolutely That's not. all right. That's okay. all right. We're good. Let's make a comeback. We'll make yeah, we'll make some back. I like that idea. Let's make some back. Eight subjects up there. What would you like next? Life science. Fourth grade life science. Fourth grade life, life science. science. Gets all right. Get this one right. We have $3,500 for the USO. Here's the question. Tropical rainforests have four basic layers of trees. Which of these is not a layer in a tropical rainforest? Canopy, nimbus, understory. Tropical rainforests have four basic layers of trees. Which of these is not a layer in a tropical rainforest? Canopy, nimbus, or understory? Taylor has locked in her answer. Kind of fast, too, didn't she? Yeah. OK, uh, I'm going to go with Nimbus. You know, lock that in? Yes. Wow, man, you, you really put the pressure on that lock there. When you said lock it in, it's final. It's permanent. But do not put a knockout punch on me, please. I won't do that. I like okay. you a lot. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. OK. Nimbus, B. Nimbus. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what your 10-year-old classmate Taylor said. She said, Nimbus. Ooh, that makes me feel a lot better. She can't save you. No. She doesn't have to. You're both right. <laughs> yes. All right. $3,500. We still got a shot at $150,000. Don't go away. Right. We'll be right back. Hey y'all, it's Femme. It's Jaden. It's Carly Hansen. It's Oliver Tree. What's going on? It's Ian Dior, and we all know Valentine's Day is the most romantic time of the year. Sucks, sucks. Whatever. <laughs> My friends and I are about to turn the whole holiday upside down in our new scripted holiday series, Valentine's Day in Hell. First we spent Halloween in Hell. Now you're invited to be a part of the next musical podcast from our In Hell series. <laughs> This time around, the devil is playing games with all of our hearts, trying to ruin our Valentine's Day plans by dragging us down to the depths of hell. In each episode, you're going to hear new original music from artists like Ian Dior, Jaden, Carly Hansen, and me, Fat. Tune in to the Valentine's Day in Hell comedy horror musical podcast. Subscribe for full episodes, bonus material, and original music. This February, check out Valentine's Day in Hell. Brought to you by Audio Up and Podcast One. Available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere you listen to podcasts. Smarter than a fifth grader. This week we have the WWE superstars playing for charity. Today it is Big Show. We still have 11,500 on the board, so pick a new classmate. And let's go get some money. I feel so bad just picking one. Come on in, come on over here, bro. Come on, in, come on over here. Brother, you're nuts, bro. I swear. Come on, in, say hello to Big Show. How are you doing, sir? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Well, thank you. There's seven subjects on the board, Kamani. Where would you recommend show goes next? Anatomy. Anatomy, he says. Wow, he spit that out pretty quick, didn't he? OK, you know what? Going with the kids is the best way to go, right? Yes, indeed. Fourth grade anatomy, Fourth grade please. anatomy. All right, here we go. 
So get it right, we can double that $3,500. Here's the fourth grade question. In the human eye, what five-layered membrane is located in front of the iris? In the human eye, what five-layered membrane is located in front of the iris? Kamani's locked in his answer. Uh, I think that's a cornea, isn't it? OK, we'll go for it. I'm going to lock in cornea. Cornea. Kamani also said cornea. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. Yeah, what? Taylor also said cornea. Kevin what? also said cornea. Everybody in the classroom is right. It is cornea. Yeah. <laughs> Fourth and fifth grade, we're down to first, second, and third. I might stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Still have two of your cheats left. Kamani, where do you think we should go next? Well, I, I really love science, so this one I really don't have a preference. Okay, physical science or animal science? Let's go third grade physical science. Third grade physical science, all right. Third grade physical science, the question is this. True or false, if an object has negative buoyancy, it will float in the water. True or false, if an object has negative buoyancy, it will float in the water. Kamani has locked in his answer. I'm going to say that if an object has negative buoyancy, it will float in water. I'm going to say that's false. I'm going to lock in my answer for false. False. Yeah. Show. Yeah. Oh, no, big show. I did it, didn't I? You're absolutely right. <laughs> Now, Kamani said he liked all the sciences, but it's up to you. Where would you like to go next? Animal science! Third grade animal science. Third grade you love animal, animal science. science. All right. The third grade animal science question is this. In terms of average size, what species is the largest living member of the lizard family? In terms of average size, what species is the largest living member of the lizard family? I will give you a clue. It's not these Python's right here. That's like an arm, only smaller. <laughs> Kamani's locked in his answer. Yeah, God, I like that. I like the Komodo dragon. I'm pretty sure that's the largest lizard. And that, that's my answer is the, the Komodo dragon. OK. Um, OK. I hate pushing my button. All right. Take a look at the board, because I, I think we do have a, a, a picture of the largest lizard. Ah. And that is. The Komodo Dragon, you guys! Come on away, we're making a run at $150,000 for charity. <laughs> Welcome back. We've got Big Show from the WWE in the classroom with us today. He's playing for the USO, and you've accumulated $12,000. Awesome. We still have two of your cheats. You've got a copy and a save. And we are down to the first and second grade questions. We got Kevin up here to help you now. Come on. All right, Kevin, we want to win money for the USO. Four subjects up there. Which one would you tell show to go with next? Um, second grade spelling. Second grade spelling. My phone spells everything for me, so this ought to be good. Uh, yeah, second grade well, spelling. Well, we got some help for you. Right. We got some help. Here's the second grade spelling question. How many vowels appear in the following phrase? Cobra, smash, slam. How many vowels appear in the phrase Cobra, smash, slam? Kevin's locked in his answer. OK. I'm feeling pretty good about this. All right, I'm going to say four. I'm locking in my answer. Locking in four. <laughs> Take a look at the board. Cobra, C-O-B-R-A-S-M-A-S-H-S-L-A-M. That's four, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Three subjects remain. Where next, show? Oh, uh, let's try second grade grammar. Second grade grammar, you like that? Yeah. All right, here is the second grade grammar question. 